praise to the most high. So in Isaiah 1111 minute, we cover events and things of that nature dealing with our people in the diaspora. All right, all right put that on the screen real quick. Doomsday cult leader in Kenya charged in murders of nearly 200 children. Now, let me say this, because you, you notice how it says cult leader, right? What? Now, I'll praise to the most high. Like the scriptures say, a bishop must be blameless. So our bishops, our leadership is going to be very difficult. They're going to have to make stuff up to put us in headlines such as this. Right. You know, because our bishops, they apply the scriptures. That's right. <laughs> But God forbid, if that was the case, if something happened amongst us, it would be plastered on the headline. Right. Black, Hebrew, Israelite, so on, if the name of the organization, so on and so forth, right? Right, right. And you see in this headline, they got doomsday cult leader. Hmm. You don't really know what that is or what that look, or what that's really about. Right. This man is a Christian pastor right. with a Christian church. Right. Damn. Come on now, You should have put doomsday cult leading pastor right. of d such and such church. Mm. What? But they want to conceal stuff like this is a this is a product of Christianity. Right. right. I cut the BS. Huh? Now, give me the uh, TikTok video to explain what is taking place. All right. The TikTok video player chat. Asia, Asia. Over 200 people in Kenya have been found dead in one of the worst cult-related disasters in history. Church leader Paul McKenzie is accused of ordering his followers to starve themselves and their children in order to go to heaven before an alleged doomsday. He has since surrendered to police, who found hundreds of graves spread across his 800-acre property. The country's president, William Ruto, says the government should have been able to stop this, since McKenzie was already arrested earlier this year in connection to the murder of two children. Children. A task force investigating regulations around religious groups has since been created, while some 600 alleged members of the cult are still missing. This uh, ain't right! So, his cult, because I guess he told them that they have to fast, I guess, for till they die in oh, no. order to reach Jesus Christ. You don't find that suspicious? False doctrine, mm -hmm. alright? But watch this. The Bible warns us for, for you brothers and sisters that scattered throughout Africa. Yep. Right? They truly descend from the lost tribes of Israel. Listen good. Listen clear. Christianity, right? The one instituted by the colonizer, night of the true black Messiah, Jesus Christ, a uh, Jesus, as some of you may call him. Not him, but Caucasian-based Christianity. Amalek is doom. That's doomsday. That's right. It's all a doomsday cult. Right. You understand? Mm. And whether it's to a low degree or to a high degree, high degree as this man, you're going to see all manners of violations committed by your so-called pastors. Why? Because that religion is not of God. Right. Don't Your true for it. religion, which is not really a religion, the way of life that God commanded you to live by is the laws of God. Right. The reason why we're That's scattered right. all throughout the earth in places like Kenya is because we broke God's commandments That's to begin right. with. But let me show y'all some Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Y'all better take okay. heed to this. Come on. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. So God is warning us that in the last days, it's going to be very, very dangerous. Oh because there's God! certain types of men out here. Read verse 5. Watch this. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Having a form of godliness. So some men have a form of godliness, meaning they will have a title of a bishop, a pastor, a leader. Mm. You understand? They will have a church with a platform. You understand? They will have a place of worship that they are leading, that they are a shepherd of. They yeah. will have a form a vision of godliness. Go ahead. But denying the power thereof. But they deny the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Thanks. Bible says one Come thing on, and they man. do and teach another. Read on. From such turn away. From what? 
from such turn away. God, listen, God is one of you, you so-called Kenyans. Y'all better leave these psychotic Christian crack head pastors alone. Right. You will turn away from them in the name of Jesus. Well done. Right, 2 Peter 2, verse 18. Two verse 18. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 18. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, and verse 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity. Because that's what they do when they get behind a pulpit. In order to gain the following that he did, he taught as if to make you think that he was in the spirit. Cap. That God was dealing with him. But they Cap. were great swelling words of nothingness. Go ahead. They allure through the lust of the flesh. Uh-huh. Through much wantonness. Read. Those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. Come on. While they promised them liberty. So he promised all of those people liberty. Ha! If you come, you congregate with me, you learn from me, you're going to experience Christ. Mm. You're going to meet him. You're going to make it to heaven's gates. You're they old promised nigga. them liberty. Go ahead. They themselves are the servants of corruption. But they are the servants of the white man. Right. Doctrine. Read. For of whom a man is overcome. Uh-huh. Of the same is he brought in bondage. That's why I called his operation a cult. That's why I called his church a cult. Because those people were in bondage, spiritual bondage to him. They mm -hmm. felt like they had to do what he said to do. And that led to hundreds of deaths. Ah! So I praise the most. The Lord's willing to keep his proper judgment. That's right. All right? Right. But we pray repent before that, but he's still going to get what he got coming for. Right. Him. That's right. All right. But you brothers got something? Yeah, let Bring me get Jeremiah 17 and 5. Man. You know, people, sometimes, man, we can be, we so simple. You know, we, we, we don't apply common sense. And we got this thing to where we just believe anything people say. Damn. Watch what the Bible say, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Curse be the man that trusted in man, and make it flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Whose what? Whose heart departed from the Lord. Because our people, our minds is nowhere near the Lord. To where yeah, we to the nah. point where a man will tell you to stop eating, bro, and you will, you will, you will just starve yourself? How do you have that much trust in a human being? That's why God says whenever you trust in a man like that, but that your heart is nowhere near God. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Oh, See? praise to the most. That's high. right. So look, y'all, this is what I need everybody to do right now. Pull out your TikTok app, all right? Put that on the screen for us. So I praise to the Most High in our efforts to reach the diaspora, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered throughout the earth. We have a new TikTok right now. We bring out information, biblical information, history. We touch on things to highlight, you understand, the, the different facts that point our people back to their true heritage, true identity, and their God. Echoes of the ancestors. Go and follow that TikTok right, right now. Bro, how many, right. how many live that's viewers right. we got? That's how many new followers I that's need to get. My right. notifications need to be blowing up right, right. now. Right. For real, I should be, I should see such and such as followed you. Such and such. I should be right, right now. <laughs> Go and follow right now. And like the video. Share the videos, all right? Now put the, uh, now, the Echoes of the Ancestors is not just the TikTok, all right? That was really a supple supplementary thing for the bigger thing. Put that on the screen. Message. So it is a podcast. Bro. That's what we doing. That's it. I'm in the ministry. I'll praise the most high God. Lord is willing, it'll be streaming on IUIC Diaspora. So make sure y'all subscribe to that and be on the lookout for the Echoes and the Ancestors podcast. Oh, you are coming soon. That's right. All right, we're going to discuss plenty of, of valuable information in history dealing with our people scattered throughout that continent of Africa, primarily in the eastern region of Africa. That's who we're going to target. All right, so yeah, y'all don't want to miss that. Y'all want to tune right. into that, and you want to make sure that brothers and sisters located in that area, with your help of sharing it and mm -hmm. promoting it, that it reaches them. 
Message. But that'll conclude our Zell 1111 Minute. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.